grand things is nothing really when you think about a beautiful country like Sri Lanka. But as a chef, I think I should start with the food. The food is so diverse. Everything from amazing breakfast treats like string hoppers and kiribat all the way to the end, you know, to the last bit of the meal, which would have to be either buffalo curd and treacle or probably watalapan, which is a Sri Lankan creme caramel. Now, as a surfer, yeah, I can't really go past surfing in Sri Lanka. And the great thing about surfing in Sri Lanka is that it has two monsoons. So when the waves aren't breaking on the west coast, you can always go to the east. I think to me, culture um, in Sri Lanka, it, it's what brings the pride out of me. Um, the Sri Lankan kings were, were a pretty amazing lot. The country was divided into five kingdoms and the architecture and um, you know the, the thinking that went on in those days are still very present today. Number four would be the colonial side of Sri Lanka. You know, Colombo and many of those other, other parts of um, Sri Lanka still have lots of colonial remnants. So as a tourist, you can get there and see some beautiful architecture and, and the remnants of, of you know, the, the days of the Raj, I guess. Number five would have to be, probably go back to number one and be very equal to number one, but would be still my family living there, my ancestral home, our village of Karagumpit here in, in Colombo. Number six is Jaffna Peninsula and the people in that area are, need rewarding because they're so strong, they're still very proud and they, um, they have um, brought a lot to the country. Look, number seven, I talked about surf, but as, as a non-surfing tourist, you can't go past the beaches. The beaches are absolutely pristine. Number eight is um, the tea fields. It's cool climate, so everybody loves it. The English were there, so there's these rolling golf courses and large trees. And the tea plantations, the place where the best tea in the world comes from, that's Ceylon teas. I think number nine, to me, is the market scene. You know, the fish markets, the vegetable markets, that day-to-day -day happening. People selling jackfruit, fish, everything. So the whole country, in a way, is a market, and you buy things fresh off the street and buy them daily. And the last thing is really personal and that's the memories that I hold of Sri Lanka. The rice paddies, the cheeky monkeys stealing food off the top of your van um, and I, I, I urge you to go because then you will also have number 10 which is amazing memories of Sri Lanka.